First round of the 3A playoffs and a good one indicator. 7-2 and two New Berlin looking for their first playoff win in 10 years. Hoping to do it against 7-2 and two St. Teresa, a team with significant playoff history and resume. And this was all we hoped for and then some. First play of the game. New Berlin with a give to Corbin Beer. He'll get good yardage, but he'll eventually lose the handle. St. Teresa would recover a disastrous start for the pretzels, and it got worse quickly. St. Teresa gives it to Zach Jarrett, and the sophomore shows exactly why he's already getting the attention he is. 22-yard pickup into your kitchen. Very next play, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. 20 yards, bobbing and weaving the whole way. 7 to nothing. St. Teresa, but some foreshadowing here. Jarrett finished with 66 yards. 42 came on those two plays. Winner would get Williamsville. They were in attendance after beating Hillsboro on Friday night. New Berlin wants that rematch, so they respond. Next pretzel drive, Jake Hunt looking for Trace Creviston on the fade. 31-yard connection is going to put it in the Bulldogs' territory, and they close the drive the way they started. Hunt to Creviston again, 24-yard touchdown. Pretzel shake off the poor start. 7-7, tie ball game, and for a while, back and forth we would go. St. T takes the lead back late in the first quarter. Sophomore quarterback Ryan Fike on the keeper. Lots of young talent on this St. T squad. 14-7, St. T back on top, but New Berlin has been able to avoid the lull that haunted them early in the season lately. They bounce right back. Hunt to Cam Cummings on the crossing route. It was first and 20. Now it's first and 10. New set of downs. Then another big conversion later in that drive. Hunt to Creviston on third and 10. He worms his way for another first down. Keeps the chains moving and they reward each other for the effort hunt. Avoids a defender, finds Crevy wide open in the end zone. Missed extra point, though, so St. T would hold a 14-13 lead. Second quarter, they would take control for the first time with the pretzels. Hunt to Creviston. That was on fourth down. Diving catch. Keeps the chains moving again. 110 yards receiving in the game for Crevy. And then they punch it in. Hunt to Connor Berger, a.k.a. Connor Bear. Aww. 196 yards passing. Three touchdowns for Hunt. That was in the first half alone. 20-14, to 14, pretzels on top, push-ups for the cheerleaders, hoping to take the lead to the break, but St. T some magic up their sleeve. Hook and ladder to Jarrett, who streaks down the sideline into pretzel territory, 34-yard line, 17 seconds to play. Then Fike finds 6-3, tied in J.D. Mattingly on the near sideline. Ball to the 13, another first down, and with 4.8 seconds on the clock, St. T dials up this, and... By dials it up, I mean Fike makes an incredible play. Stays alive and finds Patrick Altoff as time expires. Momentum back to the Bulldogs. 21-20, they stole the lead and took it to the half. That was still the score. 21-20 in the fourth quarter when the action picked back up. Pretzels driving, trying to regain that lead. Finally stringing something together after a slow third quarter. John Finke on the crossing route with tons of room down the sideline. He slips as he tries to cut it back in, but New Berlin was rolling. The reverse Give it to Berger. He turns the corner on the edge and has first down distance. Tack on more yardage with a late hit penalty on St. Teresa. It'll put the ball at the 10-yard line, and on the very next play, Hunt. Would-be tackler ends up in the back of the end zone, 27-21. Pretzels back on top. Hunt's fourth touchdown of the game, but St. T and Fike specifically still had magic. Scrambling, looking, firing... And the jump ball would be hauled in by Jake Hanley, who shakes a couple tackles, and he has got green, marches it all the way down to the eight-yard line before the pretzels finally catch him. Three plays later, Bulldogs go back on top. Fike again, buying time. It gives Mattingly a chance to get open. Five-yard touchdown strike makes it 28-27 St. Teresa. 269 yards passing for Fike on the day. Just under eight minutes to play, and... This is where it got tense. New Berlin forced to punt on their next possession. Coach Barry Creviston putting faith in his defense. And boy, did they reward him. St. Teresa driving it, running it, trying to drain the clock. But Michael Spradlin strips it and comes up with a fumble. Sprad Daddy with a potential game-saving play. Third turnover of the day forced by the Pretzels defense. And New Berlin starts to drive now. Third and three. Beer. Finds the yardage. That makes up for that first quarter fumble, especially when this happened on the very next play. Hunt on the bootleg. Pater 
Pretzels back up, 33-28, 3.38 left to play in the game. Creveston calls a timeout, draws this up for the two-point conversion. Reverse halfback pass, Cummings to Hunt, who did it all on Saturday. 35-28, Pretzels back up to a true touchdown lead. Mama Crevy, by the way, she takes credit for the play call officially. Said that was all her, and it was up to the defense once again for the Pretzels. They've taken their hits this season, but they came up big on Saturday. Sprad Daddy tracks down Fike for the quarterback sack. Bulldogs eventually find themselves in fourth and 20, and Fike's pass intended for Mattingly is out of his reach. So the Pretzels up a score, a chance to close it out with 239 on the clock, and they do exactly that. Hunt. Finished with 238 passing yards, 74 rushing yards. A big chunk of it comes on the ground here, and it would set up, you guessed it, himself from the one, his third rushing touchdown of the quarter. Wait for it. There is the sign. Sixth touchdown of the game for Hunt, and the Pretzel's going to play in the second round. First playoff win in 10 years. Coach Crevy and the boys bringing it home to New Berlin. They beat St. Teresa 42 to 28. You see the officials' hands go up when you cross the goal line to make it a two touchdown lead there late in the fourth quarter. What's going through your mind? Holy crap. You know, I just I was thinking like, wow, we I mean we did it. And it wasn't over yet, but <clears throat> two touchdown lead late in the fourth. When I saw the refs' hands go up, you know, I was just happy. Just happy. We had to punt it away with 6 minutes and as a coach, you know, it was a gut-wrenching feeling thinking I may not get the ball back if our defense doesn't step up and they stepped up big time and uh, and got the fumble. We uh, we really stepped up when we had to. Uh, I mean, when you know when times got rough, we had to uh, nut up and get to it, and we did a very good job of uh, keeping our heads up and doing our jobs. Can I hear a spread, Daddy? Spread, Daddy! Woo! Can you put into perspective what this means for New Berlin football? Because it's been a long time since they've won a playoff game to be part of the team that's done that now. Oh, it feels great to be part of this team. It feels great to be a part of this town. I love this town. These fans are hyped. The players are hyped. And it's going to be a good one. I think we've had three teams in the history of New Berlin that have won playoff games. So, uh, you know, to put our name next to those guys is pretty special. Uh, I know there's uh, about 10 seniors who are uh, pretty ecstatic that they get to extend their season one more week uh, and go on as far as we can take this.